Don't you just hate having too much sunshine around, right? It's absolutely blinding. And uh, it sort of is, you know. Uh, it has been a really... Uh, I, I've lived here since, what, May of 2019. And it's only now that I've realized, hey, uh, curtains exist. You know, because I, I don't know how much the camera is picking up on this, but it, it is bothersomely uh, just sunny sometimes. The sun has moved a little bit to the left over here. Uh, and kind of a little out, depending, I think the sun kind of changes on the seasons. But the point is, especially with this aluminum thing, it is painful to just wash the dishes or, or just be in the kitchen here, right? And what threw me off was there's a, a cool little 80s trapezoid thing that they put up there, right? It's like, oh, it's a cool design. It's like, yeah, and then it's impossible to find any curtains for it. And that sort of threw me off, like, oh, it's got to cover that as well. But as we can see from, uh, from the sun here, that's really just the trapezoid. That's really not most of the sun. So I found the attention rod, which is basically, I mean, like a shower rod is a, a tension rod, but this is just a small one for just normal curtains, for 15 bucks off Target. And then... I bought these, uh, I don't know, farmhouse, buffalo square ones, whatever, off Amazon for another 20 bucks, and that's it. And there's still plenty of, ah, no, there's still plenty of sun here, right? There's still plenty of sun here. It's actually not too, too dark here. It doesn't, doesn't blast your eyeballs out. And that's it, you know? So I, and it, it's, it's, it's interesting that it took me this long to figure this out, right? Because this is such a simple solution. It's not a hundred percent, right? I would have preferred something that covers it all and, and maybe blah, blah, blah. But uh, this is a good enough solution. And I, I think this is a good enough metaphor for everything is solutions are actually pretty simple. Um, the fight, no, we're not going to say that. The ultimate fix to the sunshine problem. That's what we're going to say it. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> So, but, but it's, it's one of those things where, enough of me for today, but the, the point is that it, it's just a simple solution, right? It's a very simple solution, and it's, it's $15 rod. I got a fancy one. I didn't get the, the plastic white one. I went for, I went for the, I don't know, the more, this one, the one, yeah, that one. But anyways, uh, so 15 bucks and 20 bucks, that's it. And then it doesn't blast my eyeballs out the sun, right? And <laughs> solutions are actually pretty simple to solve a lot of problems, you know? You don't have to, I don't know, get a whole conference together and have like three dozen people there plotting things. I don't know. Some solutions are very simple. You know, the ultimate fix to the sunshine problem is, uh, is very simple, actually. Um, and that's it. So yeah, this is one of those 30-day uh, videos I'm doing, but it's a good metaphor because I was actually quite mad about this. Like, oh, the sun, how do I fix this? And it's like, it's, it's a fucking curtain rod and curtains on the internet, right? And if part, of it, part of me is like, do I just enjoy making myself suffer over these things, you know? Part of it is like, this, th there are hard problems, but this just isn't it, right? It just isn't it. So, um, yeah, there's a sort of masochism of everything feels terrible, so even the simple things can't be solved. But they can, because look at that, you know? And, again, the only, only thing sticking out is this, and it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not in my eyes or anything, right? So it's, it's perfectly fine. It's a great solution. I even washed it in the, uh, washed the curtains in the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, washing machine. That's what they call them. And no, it turned out fine. Everything's fine. So, um, yeah, I, I guess that's it, you know?